How's it going guys? My name is Bastian Jaya. Thanks for tuning in to another OFA Basics video blog. Today I'll be teaching a more production engineering oriented equation which helps convert your casing pressure into your wellbore flowing pressure downhole. And so let's get at it. This equation is pretty accurate but if you do have a packer downhole between um, your tubing and your casing annulus then this equation will not be accurate. So you have to make sure that your well does not have a packer in it in order to have a correct casing pressure. And so let's go through the equation. Your well bore flowing pressure, PWF let's call it, will equal your casing pressure all times one plus depth raised to the 1.5 power divided by 100. And this will, um, your well bore flowing pressure will be in PSIA, not PSIG. And so what you have to do is get your casing pressure. Let's say that your casing pressure is, um, your gauge casing pressure is 500 PSIG. We'll have to add 14.7 to that. Let's just call it 15 today. That's 515 PSIA, which is your casing pressure. Casing head pressure. Um, next, you want to find the depth of your well. And so let's say it's 5,000 feet. What you'll want to do to calculate your D in the equation, you want to divide that by 1,000. So in this case, it'll equal 5. And so take a look at your equation. It's pretty simple. PWF equals um, 515 all times 1 plus 5 to the 1.5 power divided by 100. Your PWF, your bottom hole flowing pressure, that equals 573 PSIA. And so why is this important? Why do you have to know your bottom hole flowing pressure? Well, you'll have to know your bottom hole flowing pressure in order to construct an IPR curve or an inflow performance relationship curve. A typical IPR curve looks like this. On your x-axis, you'll have your Q or your flow rate, which we are talking about oil reservoir, it'll be stocking barrels per day, STB per day. And on the y-axis, you'll have your PWF, which is in PSIA. A typical curve will look like this. And so this value right here, when your PWF equals zero, this is your max flow rate. And so this is, if all things considered, your pressure downhole was zero, this is how much your well will be producing at its maximum potential. We're gonna call this QO max. Once you get enough of this data, you can construct this IPR curve and you can determine, um, you know, at what PWF, how much will I be producing per day? How many barrels of oil will I be producing on the surface? And so it's a pretty helpful um, equation for production engineers. You can include um, your vertical lift performance curve, if it's a vertical well, um, your, which includes your tubing and your max and your flow rates, and then you'll help determine how much you're actually producing through your tubing. But this was a quick, simple equation to help convert um, your casing pressure into your bottom hole um, flowing pressure. And so it's pretty neat. Um, it's a quick little equation. So if you guys like these kind of equations, these sort of videos, then please let me know down below. If you have any equations you'd like me to solve or go through and help explain, please again, leave them in the comments below. And so with that being said, don't forget to check out our comprehensive upstream oil and gas 101 course, which is on our website at oilfoodbasics.com. We go through everything in that course from leasing to planning to drilling, completions, production, and more. And so be sure to check that out. And so with that being said, thanks for watching this video and I'll catch you in the next one.